Hi, I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One. Thanks for joining us. Today, I'm going to introduce you to our newest solution. It's called Backup Infrastructure as a Service. So one of the things you see in backup storage is growth. The, the, you're backing up data. Typically, the backup is somewhere between 3x to 5x of your production data. So this backup storage uh, grows very, very quickly uh, and, and can become quite a problem. Uh, and so the cost of doing the upgrades, migrating, all those different things becomes very, very uh, expensive. So what a lot of customers look at as the potential solution for this is to use the cloud and put storage up there. And the idea is that now you've got your, your backups going uh, to a, a smaller uh, storage device uh, maybe kind of like almost as a cache, and then you are uh, going to copy them in some form or fashion to the cloud. And, and honestly, backup software has done a good job of shrinking the impact of that, that once you get through that first backup, uh, you're, you're in very good shape. Uh, now, the problem with this approach is at some point you might get uh, attacked by, say, a ransomware attack, and you need to bring back the storage attached to these applications. So that means while we have lots of methods to thin data going up to the cloud, we don't have any methods to thin data coming back from the cloud. So that means that to recover uh, this environment, you've got to bring it all back in one fell swoop. There's two basic problems with that. Number one, that's a very long transfer and you're under pressure. Number two, if you've thinned this, you might, not, you might no longer have enough capacity on premises to store this data. Uh, so it becomes a real challenge. And the third big challenge is cost. Most cloud providers are going to charge you a cost to get data out of their cloud. And so you literally are going to pay for recoveries. So we think all of those are bad. The other thing to think about here that I just kind of glossed over is getting that initial, what they call the initial seed work done. Most of the time, that is done by using a uh, transitory device that you, you do your backups here. You then physically have it shipped. It's installed in the cloud, and then the cloud provider transfers it over for you. There's a lot of time involved in doing that. There's a cost associated with that. So it's just a problematic environment. And what we're now hearing from a lot of our customers is... This sounded like a good idea, but as I started to get those cloud bills, boy, it really started to add up. That's another key point. As this uh, capacity in the cloud expands, so does your cost. So there's a lot of cost points here that are sort of hidden from you, at least initially, and then as you start to get these bills, it really starts to add up. And the challenge is, is that this data really doesn't change much. Once you've done a backup, it's not going to change much. So you're not paying, you're not getting any extra value from having it in the cloud. So we looked at this problem and we thought, okay, how can we uh, help our customers out? And so what we came up with was a, a different way to solve the problem. And if you look at what customers like really about the cloud model is that you don't have to pay for the whole thing uh, up front. So what we did is we really rethought the entire process and came up with a very unique way to give you the best of both worlds. And so the first thing in our solution, backup infrastructure as a service, is you get to keep your existing backup software. A lot of companies that are cloud-based will require you to switch to their software, and their software might be fine, but you have training time, scripts, automation, all kinds of things wrapped around your current application. The new application may not support all of your environments. There's a lot of issues that you could be concerned with. So this will plug into your existing environment um, and you can continue to uh, protect applications like Microsoft SQL, VMware, MySQL, and of course your NAS environments. Again, using your existing backup software and so what we do is install an appliance on your premises, so in your data center. And that appliance uh, typically has uh, two controllers and then attaches to 
a 5U uh, system uh, that has uh, a, fa a flash first tier, which is typical for our S1 backup technology, and then a hard disk tier. The key difference is the expense model. So this is a OPEX expense model, similar to the cloud, and it costs uh, about $5,000 per month for roughly a petabyte uh, usable capacity. So very, very cost effective, less expensive than uh, what you would pay for, for a cloud provider. And all of this fits in typically six to seven rack units. So very, very dense uh, packaging. So it doesn't take up a lot of space, doesn't require a lot of power and cooling. And then you're off to the races. This is powered by our S1 backup technology. We have videos that uh, show how that works. That means it provides uh, 360 degree ransomware protection. It provides very, very fast backups. You don't have to worry about the transfer pricing. You don't have to worry about recoveries. Everything's on prem for you. We have this flash tier to be able to ingest data very, very quickly. Uh, it has the standby storage feature that we talk about that allows you to instantiate um, applications and VMs right on the flash tier so you get a production class performance environment. The big thing though now is you can purchase it for $5,000 a month um, and uh, enjoy that same OPEX model that the cloud is known for. So it's backup infrastructure as a service and it's available now. I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One.